Justin Mueller says that lower KV means more torque. That is not true. That is not true. It is a myth that lower KV motors make more torque. That is a myth. That is not borne out by experimental evidence, nor is it borne out... Uh, well, it's not borne out by experimental evidence. I'll say that for a fact. Um, in, torque is in, entirely uh, based on stator volume. Torque is... All, le all else being equal, which is an important caveat, because obviously if you have motors with a bigger air gap, they're going to make less torque. If you have motors with different magnet strengths, different, different uh, stator uh, laminations, there are a lot of things that make torque. But the assumption that we make is that within the domain of FPV motors, all the manufacturers are more or less optimizing all of those things. And that assumption is generally true. There's some variation, yes, but that variation is within a relatively narrow range. And so all else being equal, which in the world of FPV motors it usually is, more or less, the number one thing that determines torque is stator volume. Bigger volume motors will make more torque. Smaller volume motors make less torque. The shape of the motor, pancake motor versus tall, thin motor, nope doesn't. But tall, thin motors are more responsive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't make more torque. And the KV of the motor doesn't affect the torque. Um, the KV relates to the torque constant. The torque constant is how many, how much uh, power is required to make a certain amount of torque. I think it's amps. It seems like it would be watts, but in my memory, it's amps. So we'll set that aside. So as the motor attempts to make torque and rotate, how much current will it draw? It's, I'm pretty sure it's current. For how many newton meters of torque? And a higher kV motor draws more current to make the same amount of torque. And a lower kV motor makes less current needs less current to make the same amount of torque. Aha, so now you think to yourself, wait a minute. If the lower KV motor can make the same amount of torque with less current, what does that mean for the amount of torque it's actually gonna make? If our power supply could supply an unlimited amount of current, there would be no difference in the torque made by a high KV versus a low KV motor. It wouldn't matter. But in reality, our, our power supply, our battery, cannot supply an unlimited amount of current. The more current it, we pull from it, the more the voltage sags. So what we see in the real world is that if we have a high KV motor, it will try to make, try, a high KV motor will, will try to be more responsive and make more RPMs. And in order to do that, it has to make more torque, and it will pull current, and if that results in the voltage sagging, it will make less torque and less RPMs in the real world. And a low KV motor, when it tries to make torque, it will draw less current, and that may result in less voltage sag. And therefore, that may result in the real world in more RPMs, all else being more torque, all else being equal. The reality is very messy. It's very messy. We could have a battery that has a really good C rating, okay? In which case, the higher KV motor is going to be more responsive, make more RPMs, and yeah, it's going to draw a little more current, but it's still well within the battery's capabilities, and we're going to just see an improvement in performance overall. But, but when you say... Low KV makes more torque, high KV makes less torque. That's not true. That's, that's a, that's a, a, it's oversimplified to the point of just being wrong. And we we'll try to sort that out. And if you want more torque, 
you need a bigger motor. To a point. At a certain point, you have such a big motor that you have plenty of torque and you don't need more. As you go to a bigger motor, you get more responsiveness in the prop. But that plateaus off. Once you have a big enough motor, the prop is as responsive as it meaningfully can be, and adding a bigger motor doesn't make it more responsive.